Hey coders, welcome to the eighth episode of our spreadsheet service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about sorting and filtering a spreadsheet. So the two methods to do this are sort and create filter. So that's pretty intuitive. However, on the sort method, this method is used across many classes in, in the spreadsheet service. Whether you're trying to sort the entire sheet, whether you're trying to sort just a specific range or maybe a specific filter, it's there are many use cases of this method. We're only going to go over two, and that is sorting a sheet and sorting a range. So let's jump into the code, see what we got going. Back in our project here, we've made a new sheet and we've called it Super Bowls. So let's just see it in our spreadsheet here. All right, so we have data now on all the Super Bowls that have happened in the NFL. And then we have fields such as winner, loser, how many points they scored, the MVP, city. So let's try to sort this data by loser and let's try to sort it um, reverse alphabetically. So first, let's get our sheet. So again, one way we can do this is by sorting directly from the sheet. And there's two different methods that you can, or there's two different uh, options that you have here. The default ascending parameter will be set to true. So if you want to change that, I would suggest selecting the second method and then saying false. So ascending now is going to be false. It's going to be a reverse alphabetical order. The column position again is going to be five. So you can do it this way, but I, here's why I would not suggest doing it. It's because it's also going to sort your header row. So we do have everything sorted reverse alphabetically, but unfortunately the header row got put down all the way on row 29. That's not what you want. You want it to stay on row one. So one way to get around this, if you wanted to keep doing it, if you want to keep sorting via the sheet, is you can actually freeze the first row. And then if you hit save, run it again, then it will not sort the first row. It's frozen. It will sort every other row after that which is one way to do it, but again, if you don't want to freeze the first row, you need another way. So the other way to do it, and let me just return the original data, the other way to do it is by declaring a range. So I will for now comment this out, and I'll say let range equal our sheet sp dot, oops, not sort yet, we want to get range first and our row will be two. So we're going to start on row two. Again, we don't want to sort this first row. We just want to start on row two. Column one, number of rows will be last row minus one and the number of columns will be last, oops, last column. So now we have our range and then when we have our range, we can sort by that. So you can see that it takes an object. So that's going to be a JavaScript object. And let's say the, well, the keys are going to be first column. So again, if we wanted to call, if we wanted to sort by column five, we would say five. And then the other parameter would be ascending. And let's just say false again. So if this, if this is false, or I mean, if this is true, then you can just get rid of this entire object and you can just say five. So that is the quick way to do it. That's the shorthand way to do it. But if it's false, you need to include the ascending and you need to include it in these curly brackets. So let's do this again and we will hit play. And the function is still running. There it goes. All right, so there it goes. So. It's sorted again by column five, reverse alphabetical order. So that's really great. And then it didn't affect the first row at all. So the other way to, the other advantage that you can take from using this method uh, from the range type is that you can double sort. So to double sort, first you need a array. You need to encapsulate in an array. And actually we're gonna move this down a row so that it's cleaner to read. And so now we can double sort. So let's say we wanted first to sort by column C, and then our secondary sort is by column D. So our first sort, again, is going to be by column 3. Ascending will be true. 
And again, when the ascending is true, really we could have just said three, but we're going to be very verbose here just so that it is entirely clear what we're doing. So column now four, and let's say ascending is false. So what this is going to do is that it's first going to sort by column three, and then after that, it will sort by column four. So let's show you. Let me show you what that means on a spreadsheet. So we're going to hit run, and it's running now. No errors. That's good. All right. So first, it's going to sort by column three again, and it's going to do alphabetical order, just like how we declared. But then after that, it will see if there's any repeat values. Like say here, the Dallas Cowboys have five Super Bowl wins. And then it will look at the points column after that, and it will sort by the points. So it's going to be descending order like we specified. And it'll be 52, 30, 27, and it'll just go down. Same with something like the Patriots, 34, and then it's going to go down. So that's a cool way to double sort that you can't do it directly from the sheet method. All right, so that is sorting. Let's move on to creating a filter. So the filter is accessed through the sheet class. So let's get our sheet back here and then say create. Oops, I'm sorry, not the sheet class. It's actually the, the range class. So you need a range. So the range that we want is going to be all of our data range. So let's say, first off, let's say let range equal sheet sb dot get data range all right so this is going to get all the data in our sheet and then it, it, it then we'll save it and then we'll say range dot create filter so this is going to this is going to create a filter that covers the entire data range and again this is a very simple method there's no arguments involved so let's just hit save and we will run it and there's no errors, so that's good. So now again, we have our filters and it, and, and it covers the entire data range. So let's say if we wanted to just filter by winners and we wanted to see something like Kansas City Chiefs only. So now we can see that Kansas City, they had two Super Bowl wins and that makes it a whole lot easier. So there's a lot of different ways you can manipulate the filter through through coding but we're not going to get into that now just for the sake of time but that is sorting and filtering so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video